it's Sunday the 11th of uh, December, so uh, almost halfway through Advent now. Let's, uh, let's have a little look. What have we got? That's the 11th one there. Okay, so let's see what's in today's Advent. Okay, it was confusing me when I squeezed it. So we've got a mini wrapped around a candy cane. This is a pink mini. Quite a chunky candy cane, actually. And there's the mini. I'm doing quite well on the minis. But, uh, nice little collection for me there, so I will have to work out what to do with them. But, uh, yeah, so let's put that in the box. We'll stick the candy cane elsewhere, because I'll obviously nibble on that later. Um, so plans for today? Well, it's Sunday, so um, not planned on much. But, uh, it is the time of year where I start thinking about next year, so I might set up my bullet journal and make a start on that. Um, a bit of planning, a bit of, forward, bit of goal setting for, for next year. And uh, obviously knitting on my Christmas jumper. But, uh, I am into the colour work as I thought it would be by the end of uh, the knit night last night. So that's good. So I'll keep working on the colour work. Hopefully be through the colour work by kind of midweek and then on to the ribbing and there's just sleeves. So I'm pretty confident that I'm going to have that one done for Christmas this year, which would be nice. It's also one of my make nine, so I'll be able to tick that one off. But, uh, need to assess my make nine and uh, plan ahead for next year's make nine as well. Okay, so yes, yeah, a day of planning and knitting, I think. Uh, back to work tomorrow. I've got two days left before the end of term. So it's not actually as frantic as it normally is this time of year at work, um, which makes me feel like I've forgotten something. But there we go. But, uh, yeah, so let's uh, get going. Okay, so we're editing day five today. 10. Um, this is something I need to do before I can edit it because it just makes everything sync up properly and I can edit it more accurately, so that's good. So whilst that's doing that, I am pondering my Christmas sweater. If I bring this over here. Now, as you can see, I've got some of the colour work done. And it's going quite quickly. But, um, I forgot to change needles between this stocking stitch and this colour work and the tension on the colour work is obviously going to be tighter than on the stocking stitch because that's what happens with colour work. So normally I would go up a needle size and I didn't. So I am debating whether I need to rip back to here, switch the needle and uh, try again. And we're talking a few hours of knitting, we're not talking days, so I mean it's not a crisis. Uh, but that's what these stitch markers are. I'm going to count the stitches. This is four inches and this is four inches. I'm going to count them and I'm going to see how far adrift there are. I am expecting to see more stitches in that four inch section here than I am here. It's just how many more because if I've got more stitches then the circumference of the sweater is less. And I obviously need to make sure it's enough to go around me. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm pondering that. Okay, so I've done my counting. Now, obviously, this section is a bit stiffer 
than this section. So this section is going to have more drape. That's to be expected. But when I counted my stitches in that four inch space, there's only half a stitch different. So that does mean I'm losing a stitch every eight inches. But I don't think in the grand scheme of things, it's going to make a massive amount of difference. I'll just grab the picture of the, the sweater. Okay, so this is the sweater. And you see when she's wearing it, she's got a bit of bagginess around the arms because raglans. Um, but that will also be partly contributed to with the colour work because she doesn't instruct you to change size. She just gives you a smaller size for the, the ribbing and a larger size for the, for the rest. Um, but you've also got this pretty much straight down. There's not shaping in there. Uh, so the tightest point is the bust. So assuming that the circumference is enough, should be fine. I'm not going to be able to tell that until I've finished because um, the length of the cable. I'm going to kind of look and see if I've got a longer cable, I suppose. Switch it onto a longer cable and see if I can try it on just to check that that's going to go over the boobage. But uh, I think we should be good. Okay, slightly weird, I know, but uh, over the top of everything. So yeah, the neck is a lot closer than I'd normally knit for a sweater. Um, but that's okay, may well block out a bit anyway. Shoulders fit fine. And yeah, the colour work. We're on zero ease, over, well over my clothes anyway, we're on zero ease on the bust. But it is going to fit around the bust. So yeah, I'm a little bit surprised, I was surprised when I hit the neckband to be fair, at how small it was compared to the picture. See so on the picture, the neckband's quite a bit wider, um, but that happens sometimes. As things get knitted up, they get changed. But the crucial thing is the way it fits across the bust, and yeah, it's going to go over the bust. Obviously, this is unblocked, uh, so it may ease up, as I say, when it gets blocked anyway, depending on how I pin it out. Um, and yeah, it is going to go over, and it's going to go pretty much straight down from there to probably about here, so it'll be fine for my my jeans and things. Um, but yeah, that's going to take a bit of getting used to. I've not worn this higher collar on a sweater for quite a while. I do better on the next day. So uh, we'll see. Because if the if I don't just sort of go with it now, I have to go all the way back and knit a large size at the collar and given that the shoulders fit quite nicely. I'm not sure I want to do that. Um, and I'm filling out the top as well because that was my concern. So the difference in gauge between the top and the colour work that so the top's going to be a bit fl floppier, floopier. And then the body a bit stiffer, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, but yeah, the raglan increases the sitting nicely. I'm very glad I went up the uh, the size. This wouldn't have fit if I'd have stuck with the size that I was originally planning. Uh, if I wanted more ease, I would have had to go up another size again. Um, I think it's going to be enough ease in the sleeves as well. So yeah. Good morning. It's Monday the 12th and yet again I've forgotten to change my calendars so I'll do that in a minute. But, uh, it's been very chilly in the UK recently. Just got the weather showing up on the uh, breakfast news in the in the background and uh, we're looking at zero degrees at the moment which is warmer than it has been. But, uh, Leo here has uh, found the radiator, so it's actually quite a surprise to see him on the back of the chair there. But, uh, yeah, let's get today's advent then. So here we have the 12th. Just going to block the cat's butt so that the TV can, the, the uh, camera can focus. <coughs> this, uh, this mode on my camera keeps thinking that. Uh, Leo's back is the uh, is an, another face that's trying to focus on him. 
kitchen. Not an easy one. Oh. What have we got here? Okay, so a little drawstring bag. It's got a mandala picture on that side. On this side says mindful collection and badge on it. So the badge reads, it's not stash, it's loft insulation. Okay, let's see what's in this rather cute little drawstring pouch. So it's Knit Pro. It's a rather sweet little row counter. That's a nice little action to it. Let's just zero it off. So yeah, very pretty. So let's see what we've got going for, th for this week then. Uh, so I was distracted by the label on the, uh, the, row, the bag that the row counter came in. Uh, so yeah, this week I'm working today, working tomorrow, and uh, then it's the end of term, so I get a couple of weeks off. Um, I am approaching the halfway point on the colour work for my Christmas sweater. Just gonna lean over here a little bit because uh yeah camera's getting very confused by the cat's butt um so yes i'm about halfway down the the color work on the christmas sweater so we'll get that done this week uh, at least the color work anyway um hopefully midweek but we'll see then i've got this week's video to film and i've got some planning to do for next year so I've set up my bullet journal. So I'm also trying to work out how to use good notes and do a bit of digital planning as well. Um, so I can have my main stuff in my bullet journal and then just stuff that I need to move around with. Um, hopefully on my phone. So might be easier on the, the tablet, but the tablet is, my iPad is so old that it can't take the most up-to-date version of good notes, so I don't know if they'll sync up. Um, so at least I don't think they will sync up to show the same stuff in real time from one to the other. So I mean, I can put the planning in on the iPad and then export it to the phone, uh, but I might have to just do it on the phone. Um, so yeah, I've got to do a bit of playing around with that software to uh, to work out how to use it because I've not used it before and need to make sure I've got all the rest of the stuff that I need for Christmas. I think all the uh, presents are ordered and most of them have arrived. It's a uh, few things like marzipan for the cake, uh, dinner for Christmas Eve, the rest of the bits for breakfast on Christmas Day. Um, I don't need to do any other meals on Christmas Day, just breakfast. Even if we were hosting, I would only be doing breakfast. My other half would do dinner. And then we're normally too stuffed by the evening. So I do gingerbread pancakes on Christmas morning with um, pancetta or prosciutto or whatever sort of fancy ham I can get. And pecans. I've got the pecans. Um, might need more eggs. I will definitely need the uh, prosciutto or parma ham or pancetta or whatever I can find uh, to go with that. And we normally gammon on Christmas Eve. So that all needs sourcing. 
I do have a delivery slot booked for, for the 20th of December, so that's probably when Christmas Eve dinner will be coming, but um, I'm going to eat cat food before then. So, need to sort that out. We also haven't had any leap cooking this year, which we normally do, so I might pop into Lidl on the way to work today. I uh, should leave a little bit early and pop in. I'll try and pick up marzipan as well, because if I leave it for the delivery, there's a chance it might not be in stock, so yeah. And apricot jam, I need apricot jam to put the marzipan on. So yeah, bits and bobs to, to get done, and uh, obviously life stuff is just ticking away in the background. Um, that is getting to a point where it's taking up less headspace um, and less time, so that's good. And so it's nothing to worry about. It's all good stuff. It's just, it's my partner's stuff, so I can't really go into detail because it's not my stuff to tell. But, uh, it's just time consuming. So, so yeah, so things ticking along. Um, might get a bit of knitting done before work. I might do some planning, we'll see. But, uh, it is still quite early. It's only at half seven because the cat woke me up an hour ago. So I'll either see you a little bit later with some knitting or I'll see you tomorrow, probably tomorrow because I quite often don't get much done before work. Um, oh, actually, I might take a little bit of footage of the walk down into work. I could go the pretty route. There's multiple routes for me to get to work. Um, there's a couple of different routes for me to get to Lidl. So, yeah, so I might take some footage of the walk to work today. I do have to go in early tomorrow as well because we've got some people coming in to test alarms and pap testing and boring stuff um, but someone has to let them in and <laughs> I live nearer than the boss um, I'm not paid by the hour so it's fine so yeah so I'll, I'll get some footage of the walking to work either today or tomorrow uh, yeah so far we've avoided snow here it's fine. I don't mind there being snow. I like snow when it's like pretty snow. Um, and I like snow when I don't have to go out in it. So if that can wait till after Wednesday, that'd be good. And we do have like sleet on the forecast for us. Uh, so I'm in the East Midlands and we've had snow in the, the North, the Northeast. I think the Northeast anyway, certainly the Northwest. Um, and down into the southwest as well. So Devon had snow that's practically unheard of. So, um, yeah, it's been mostly down the western side of the country. It's not been snow here yet. Um, but it doesn't mean there won't be. And we do sometimes get a bit of snow after Christmas. Um, so, yeah, anyway, that's uh, almost 10 minutes of me just wittering away. So, I will walk there. Come back later. December today, which is my last day at work until next year, but I do have to go in early, so uh, not because there's loads of work to do, but because we've got the pat testing guy coming in a couple of hours before I normally start, so someone has to let him into the building, so uh, it does mean I've got plenty of time to make sure that everything is 
ready for next term, so that's good. And uh, yeah, so there probably won't be much footage shot this morning. Um, a little bit maybe, but we'll see. Probably not. I did get some footage of my walking to work yesterday, I went the pretty route, so you'll have seen that. But it was very frosty, very cold. Um, it's meant to get a few degrees warmer this week, so we'll see how that goes. But, uh, change my advent candles in a minute because I haven't done that yet. And uh, let's start with opening the one from my stepmom. So here it is, it's 13, and it's, it feels kind of soft. So we'll see what that is. Here comes the rustling. This is Lay Family Yarns. I've never had any Lay Family Yarns before, so that's interesting. It's called Elf Male. It's a merino nylon fingering weight. How pretty is that? So I'll get my taste out of it. Yeah, very pretty. It's my sorts of colours as well, purples and blues. I do like purple. Um, so yeah, that's probably a pair of socks, maybe into a shawl or a hat. There, yeah. so that's lovely. It's whether I can get with the blue next to my face. That's how I'll decide whether it's going to be a shawl or a hat or a pair of socks. Um, I can normally get a pair of socks out of about. 50 60 grams depending on the length and the uh, the patterning so, so yeah okay so uh just need to change my calendars do my dailies on my gems of all and see how far i get with getting stuff done before i need to go to work because yes yeah, literally two hours early that i'm going in so that does cut into the time that i spend doing stuff at home but you know what if I don't do housework, it will still be there when I get home. So that's fine, it's not going anywhere. I can do it later, I can do it tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's get on with the day. Good morning, it's Wednesday the 14th of December. I've popped the little fire on the TV today. I don't know if there's no heat coming off it, but it feels nice and cosy. But uh, let's see what I've got to my advent today. Here's day 14. It's uh, much firmer, feels distinctly book-like. Let's get into it. Okay, there's a little notebook. It's uh, it goes with the bookmark that I got earlier. So we've got cats in hats and jumpers, knitting all the way around. And yet it's a, a lined notebook. It's a Emma Ball design. So yeah, that'll be useful. I do like a good notebook. Okay, so time for coffee. Time to look at my list of things to do. Um, I suspect mostly what's going to get done today is knitting on the Christmas jumper. I'm wearing one today as well. Uh, this is just a shop-bought one. All my Christmas jumpers, apart from the ones on the needles, are shop-bought. So I have been meaning to make a, a Christmas jumper for a long time. But, uh, big nudge this year because uh, a lot of them don't fit particularly well at the moment. I've got one that was cheap and wasn't... Uh, cut out evenly so the graphic on the front is slightly square and this one that fit me and then I've got a Santa yoke sweater which is my first the oldest one of the ones that I've got um, which I like but it's a little on the small side at the moment um so yeah that's my three Christmas jumpers 
I've got a Christmas t-shirt that's a little snug as well at the moment. I don't think I've got any others. I think it's just the three. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so I needed one that, that fitted to rotate with this one. Um, because, yeah, the other one that fits is it's cheap and it's, it's not as, as good as it could be. It's like an inch squiff. So the, the centre of the graphic is an inch off centre, which is annoying. But, uh, but like I say, it wouldn't cost much, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that's probably mostly what's going to get done. Um, I need to finalise the order for my Christmas food delivery, which is mostly going to be Christmas Eve's dinner um, and topping up bits and pieces. I've got like main meals until after Christmas at the moment. So I can't order many more of them. I've got nowhere to store them in my tiny, tiny and chaotic kitchen. But, uh, I do need to do some filming for the weekly videos this week. Um, so that might be today, might be tomorrow. Now that I've fixed my editing software, I could even do it Friday morning and still get it out in time. So uh, I've tested that last week. Um, so that will happen at some point. I've got some tidying and organising and sorting out to do which I'm not going to show you because it's not exciting. Um, cake doesn't need marzipanning until next week. At some point I want to go for a walk and see if I can find deer. But whether that'll be this week or next week, I'm not sure. Because it's flipping freezing at the minute. And we've had below zero temperatures consistently for about a week. Um, I know that's not a lot for like Scandinavia and what have you. But yeah, minus three, minus four for the East Midlands is very cold. Um, we're a much milder area. Um, around about zero, the odd dip into like minus one, minus two. Yeah, okay, we get that. But a sustained period of below zero temperatures is not all that common. Um, we do appear to be pretty much the only part of the UK that hasn't had snow so, <laughs> so it went to uh, Scotland down the the north northwest a little bit of the northeast down into the southwest of of the country London had inches of snow which is unheard of uh, Devon and Cornwall had snow which is pretty much unheard of uh, Kent had a lot um but yeah Lincolnshire nah. Nottingham had a little dusting on Monday, as I discovered watching Corner of the Craft yesterday, um, Hannah was saying she's uh, had dusting of snow on her Vlogmas. Um, hopefully her water gets sorted out because I know she's waiting to dye up some yarn. But, uh, it's been that cold that her pipes are frozen. But, uh, we haven't had that issue here. But then again, I don't have a pipe running out my garden. I don't even have an outdoor tap in the garden. Uh, anywho, time to go and drink my coffee. <laughs> So we're getting a good amount of progress done. But, uh, it's now 10 to 8 in the evening. Um, so I've done a bit of knitting, done a bit of faffing and sorting and stuff. Had a really nice slow cooker lasagna. Highly recommend. It's a BBC Good Food uh, recipe. And, uh, if I remember, I will put it in the uh, box below. But if not, slow cooker lasagna. BBC Good Foods. They're very, very nice. We'll definitely be doing again. So I'm going to keep working on this. Um, I am 15-ish rows from the end of the smaller version of the chart. And when I get to the end of that, I will try it on and see what the length is like. And see if I need to do 
the extension because the, there's two. I'm not sure that it was entirely necessary to put two charts in there, but it's nice to have the two charts in there. And uh, the first forty odd rows are the same on both charts, and the second chart just has an additional few rows to to set up what to do if you are extending the length. So um, yeah. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll try it on when I get to, to the end of the, this chart and uh, see where we're at to see if I feel in need more length before the ribbing. So, yeah, good progress is being made. We'll see how far I get tonight. And I'll update you in the morning. Good morning. It's Thursday the 15th of December, so halfway through the month. And, uh, 10 days till uh, present time. Okay, so let's have a look at what I've got in today's advent. So here we have day 15. There's squish to it. Let's uh, see where I can get into this paper. There we go. Ooh. It's very sparkly. This is Mazania. It's uh, Superwash Merino Nylon seventy five twenty foot. 75 20%, 5% Stellina in there. If the sparkle is coming across on the screen. It's a 20 gram mini. This is Cassin Pesu on it. Oh, Cassin Pesu. I guess that's the, the colorway. This. The website is uh, www.mazania.fi. So I guess finish. Uh, but yeah, oh, that's nice. Good shades of blue. Nice dark blue. And yeah, lots of sparkles. Um, it's a sock blend. So superwash, merino and nylon. That sparkle coming from the Stellina. It's uh, quite a plump yarn, but fingering weight. So yeah, there's a bit of squish to that yarn. Mm, that's very nice. Okay, so more minis to add to the mini stash. But, uh, really need to work out what I'm going to have, what I'm going to do with them. So I'm thinking that the nettle minis will go in a separate project with some of my other non yarn non uh, wool fibers. Um, I've got some that I've hand spun. Uh, so possibly in with that, but there'll be a discrepancy there on the weight of the yarn. Uh, we'll see. Um, and the wool-based minis, I think, will either go into stash for heels, toes and cuffs, or they'll go into some sort of minis project. Because I've got a few other minis upstairs in my stash that I haven't got around to using for things. So... Uh, You'll think I might have to get them all out at some point and uh, make a decision. Okay, so today's plans. I hopefully will get some filming done for the weekly video that goes out in a couple of days because I haven't done that yet. Um, but like I say, if I end up doing it tomorrow, it's it's not a problem because I can edit quite quickly now. Um, now that we've fixed my software. Um, so I need to get that done. I need to try on my Christmas sweater that I'm working on. So I got to the bottom of the shorter chart. So I need to try that on and see if I need to work the longer chart. I suspect I might. Um, there's a handful of rows on the chart. Um, but what I'm going to do is try put it onto a longer needle, onto a longer cable, try it on and work out how much more I want lengthwise 
before I start the ribbing. It's a five centimetre rib, it's a two inch rib um, in the pattern. So I need to work out how much more body stitches I want to, uh, before I switch to that and where I want the colour work to stop. Um, so I can always do a few plain blue rows, rounds, um, before I switch to the ribbing. But that's a decision to be made once I've got it on. Um, so yeah, not far to go now on the, on the body. It's just uh, getting it to the length of one, putting the ribbing on. And then it sleeves. So it'll definitely be knitted by Christmas. Whether it'll be blocked very much depends on when I get to the end of the sleeves. Um, because I'll obviously need a couple of days to, to dry it. It's not warm enough to dry it outside. Um, so we need to be drying it inside. So yeah, probably two, maybe three days to actually dry. Um, to be on the safe side. Uh, I mean, I will spin it before I pin it out. So it might not take as long, but I like to leave plenty of time just to be sure. Um, so yeah, so that's the main things to get done today. I still want to set up my bullet journal and done my planning for next year, but um, it's not next year yet. Okay, so it's definitely a snugger fit than the uh, pattern photo. And as I say, when I block it, it's likely to grow and loosen up a bit. But, uh, given my gauge and given that I didn't switch needles for the colour work, I'm not surprised that it's uh, zero ease pretty much at the moment, um, but I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, so lengthwise I've definitely got a bit more room for putting stuff in there, so I'll do the remaining ten rows of the longer chart, that's going to give me another inch and a half, so that's going to take me pretty much to there-ish, um, and then the five inches of ribbing, so it's going to be high hip finishing. I think, if I remember rightly, after the colour work in the pattern there's a decrease round, but I'm not going to do that. I probably wouldn't have done that anyway, because my shape, uh, I'm not sure it would have sat quite how intended. Um, but yeah, once it's blocked and it eases up a little bit, I think that's going to be fine. Uh, and yeah, I'm okay with the snugger fit. Uh, for a Christmas sweater, it's not a problem. I wear thin layers underneath these things anyway, so it's not like I need to get lots under it. Um, yeah, and it's not going to do any weird bunching if it's a zero ease fit as well. It's going to sit more smoothly. Uh, whereas with the shape of the one in the photo, because of the shape of my body, there's always a chance it's going to ride up a bit, and I'm not sure. I would have like enjoyed wearing that so uh so yeah it was more the colour work that attracted me to this sweater anyway I mean the shape is interesting but I don't think it would sit right on me because of my hip to waist ratio and my short waist okay so see so yeah, there's 10 rows of colour work on the extended chart so that's an inch and a half so that's going to take me to about there as I say uh, yeah, so the sweater should sit around about high hip when it's done. Lovely. So, next video, there'll hopefully be a little bit more sweater for you to see. There might even be sleeves. That would be good, wouldn't it? Sleeves on a sweater. Okay, so I will uh, see you next time.